Back in his heyday, Darryl Strawberry was a legend who led the New York Mets to one of the most storied world championships in Major League history. He was one of the hottest hitters of the 80s and 90s and has four World Series rings to prove it. But his personal struggles stood in the way of his personal best, and his demons took hold and played out in the public eye. Struggling with drug use during his career and depression, he has opened up about his battle since retiring. Now, he's sharing his story in a new book called Don't Give Up On Me, Shedding Light on Addiction with Daryl Strawberry that he co-authored with psychologist Dr. David Blair Miller. Recently, Metro Focus co-host Jenna Flanagan caught up with them both at the Baseball Center here in Manhattan and asked him what influenced him to write this book. Well, thanks for having us. I really appreciate it. And, and writing this book um, was to bring back education, I think, more than anything. I think education about addiction is so important. I think we look at a person who struggle with addiction and we think, well, uh, that's their fault. Uh, I think people uh, truly don't understand addiction. I think they don't understand what happens to a person. They don't understand the brokenness of a person. They don't think those things should happen because for me, they think, well, you were very successful, you were rich. Well, my addiction part just covered that up. I was always in pain. Mm -hmm. I just never dealt with it. And if you never deal, deal with your problems, you know, the problems are eventually gonna come out and, and my life was no different just being a high profile person. And it's so sad that they think, think that way towards celebrities that I think that's why so many celebrities die in addiction, you know, because no one really tells them that they have a serious problem and um, they never get to deal with the internal things that are affecting them and we cover up because we have success and money and, and um, we're not able to get well. Well, Dr. Miller, this is a perfect time to sort of focus in on the phenomenon of the functioning addict. I think a lot of us, when we think of an addict, we think of someone whose life is completely deteriorated. But of course, here we have Daryl, who is functioning at the highest level in his career, in his chosen profession. How is that possible? Well, the first thing is, is that all addicts have a, a history of some kind of hurt, of pain, often stemming from childhood experiences. In Daryl's case, it was with his father. But there's, there's almost always an extensive history of emotional deprivation during childhood in terms of nurturance, in terms of feeling understood, in terms of feeling valued, in terms of feeling heard, nurtured, so on and so forth. So there, there's an extensive history of hurts and pains emotionally, internally. Well, Daryl, one of the things that this book does is it lays bare a lot of your childhood experiences. And it's something that I think a lot of celebrities like to be more guarded and private with is their personal trauma. But you talk a lot about your relationship with your father. What role did that play in your addiction? Well, because I wanted to be well. And, and the only way one can come to the place of being well is he's got to be real. He's got to be real about his problems. He's got to open up about his problems. And I think that's was really leaves people stuck in a place for so long of being addicted to drugs and alcohol is because they're not well on the inside. We look good, you know, from an outside perspective, but the inside is not well because there are things inside of me that are hurting, that I've never dealt with, that I've never took the time to face. Well, was it traditional treatment or was there something else that helped you get in touch with the real Daryl inside? No, it was through love. Oh. You know, because I had, had experienced treatment multiple times, mm -hmm. and that just never captured, you know, the inside of me. It, it was the true love of one, one's condition where one is right, meeting someone right where they're at, mm -hmm. and saying there's a, there's a real person inside there that needs to be loved and cared for. When people have histories of being hit being told negative things over the course of time. The internalized experience is, I'm no good, I'm worthless. And what I think Daryl is speaking to is, is the message sent to him by his wife is, you're not worthless and I can care about you. Wow, that's, I, I, first of all, that's beautiful to hear. Um, but I also do wanna ask you about where you are in your life now, because I understand you're an ordained minister. What role did faith play in your turning your life around? Well, faith played a, tremendous role in my life because my mom was a faithful person and, and I think most people don't understand what faith is. Faith is, 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 is something that you don't see but it's something that you learn how to live and it's learning how to 
live and care for others. And is this book um, a way to help make sure that others get the help that they need? Book is book it has a lot of education mm -hmm. in it. It has a lot of experience from myself, but more experience from a doctor's perspective. You know, and I think sometimes people uh, miss that. You know, that's very important. You can look at me. I'm the addict. Mm -hmm. I, I don't have the medical part of what happens to a person. Um, and Dr. Miller describes that well, weaving back and forth with me and the interview of my life and, and the time of spending with me to get to know me. And then, you know, he could show people why they're, why they're affected uh, by, certain th by certain things that have happened in their life. And I think that's so important. And I think most people don't understand that. That's why the book is so important to educate yourself. All right, well, gentlemen, I want to thank you both so much for joining us on the program and, of course, sharing what is, uh, unfortunately, I think a taboo and a difficult subject for a lot of us to deal with, addiction. Um, but it sounds like this is a book that definitely was done with the intent of helping a lot of people. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for having us.